they hid the bones of Fred McPhee. That's a scary story. <laughs> Written by E. Bunting. Don't be afraid. Even the dog is afraid. Maybe it's not that scary. There's a skeleton high in our sycamore tree, high as can be. He was hung up there by my sister and me, high in our sycamore tree. Do you see him? I wonder what they were doing with a skeleton up in the sycamore tree. His bones are white, and he is long and lean. There in our sycamore tree, his teeth are as biggest we've ever seen, grinning at Jesse and me. We brought him home from the harvest fair and named him Fred McPhee. He looked so scary dangling there high in our sycamore tree. He isn't real, but it's hard to tell. He's plastic, head to toe, but all of his bones are joined so well, no one would ever know. <laughs> At night, when the wind howls overhead with ghoulish ghastly glee, our skeleton dances and dance of the dead there in our sycamore tree. So he's kind of hanging up there. And the wind blows and then his little body moves. He looks a little frightening. We'd like to take a peek out back, but who knows what we'd see. We hear those bones go clickety-clack, the bones of Fred McPhee. Our old dog, Sam, once snapped at flies around our sycamore tree. Now Sam stays home and the flies don't rise. It's such a mystery. The dog doesn't even want to go out there again. Our rooster used to crow all day up in our sycamore tree. Now the rooster's gone and the hens, they won't lay since we got Fred McPhee. Hmm, do you think that all the animals are getting scared? Maybe the sound is making them scared. Animals get frightened with sounds that are not normal in their environment. A great horned owl with yellow eyes sits in our sycamore tree. When we look up those gleaming eyes, he's all that we could see. We'll let Fred hang until Halloween. We won't, he won't come down before. We'll hide him where he can't be seen till Halloween comes once more. The dark is drooping like a crow. There's no star to be seen. <laughs> we, what's wrong with Sam? We hear him howl, which is the dog. This night of Halloween. The morning's bright, filled with light, but where is Fred McPhee? His bones have vanished in the night, gone from our sycamore tree. So it looked like it was really windy and everything blew around. Even the pumpkins are on the floor and the ground rolling. Did someone come by dead of night with only the owl to see? Did someone come by pale moonlight and cut down Fred McPhee? Someone come and take their skeleton? 
There's a mound below that's long and lean beneath our sycamore trees. And the mound is brown, not fast, frosty green. We know what it might be. We know it's the grave out there on the slopes beneath our sycamore trees. But who could it be that cut the rope that held up Red McPhee? The grave sinks low as we mark the spot with pebbles and shells from the sea. We hope that Fred will like it a lot and sleep contently. Thoughts? No, we can not look at that. When the wind howls overhead and shakes our sycamore tree, we hear them dancing and dancing of the dead. The bones of Fred McPhee. Now look closely, boys and girls. Is that a skeleton? No, it's the tree. And it, the seeds from the tree, his eyes. It's the moon. Look at how that artist did that. So sometimes images can be a little scary, but they end up being something that maybe they're not. Boys and girls, have a safe, safe day. Have a good day.